Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to get all in the Lord that took the how on my show. God was shining for God. So God bless. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great bills come, rule with and grace up to you, brother, the truth. Bless your younger brothers in the truth and peace and blessing to the whole leg of the Lord with this edifying blessing. Why are we 18 in this part of this time? But Lord, wasn't this edifying lesson, you know? Um, and I'm gonna play this clip right here that you see. And as it say, a 12 year old boy did this because his mother took away his phone. You know? So let's play the video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a black person because you see a black girl sitting in the back holding the baby. You know, but this month Jake caused all this damage and but you know, they probably stand in an apartment or some shit. And this nigga just slapped him. Told every fucking thing, look man. Bust the windows, glass the mirrors, the tables, broke the counter. Knock the refrigerator over. Ain't no telling what else he told the fuck up that you really can't see. You know, smaller things. You know, but this nigga caused thousands of dollars of damage all because his mother took away his phone, man. And this is a young man, you know? And that's why the scriptures say what they say, you know? Scriptures, you know? The scriptures <clears throat> is the way is the life. You know, if, if these if these laws, that the commandments of Yahweh, let's say Yahweh shine, just kept things to be much better in the earth. You know, things would be much better. But I ain't gonna keep talking. I'm gonna get them to the scriptures that I look at. <clears throat> this Deuteronomy chapter twenty one and verse. 18, it reads, if a man have a stubborn or rebellious son, which would not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, being in, you know, this such as like she did, took away his phone. You know, this can't be no first time thing just snapped out. Um, he never did or not. You know, they take away his phone and he lost his mind. You know, that wasn't no first time thing. He's he been doing it, throwing tantrums since he was a child. You know? And then this probably a single, single parent household. You know, this, you know, woman probably by herself trying to raise a young man. Y'all emotional, you know, like a female, man. <laughs> it's a, um, and, and that's what they chastened. She chastened him by taking away his phone. They probably told him, do this, this, and this. I'm going to take that phone. Or you better pay attention to school. I'm going to take that phone. Probably like, Motherfucker ain't gonna take my phone. But she finally took the phone and he lost his damn mind. They gonna show you that he saw technology have demons on him. You know, Jake 
see where I was going to be on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and shit. You know, probably got gang and shit on their phone or played games on his phone. <coughs> Let's keep going. It's saying if a man, uh, like verse 19, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out. Out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his palace. And, and they shall say unto the elders of his city, This my son. To lock him a bit. Let me just um, start over. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 21 and verse 18 to say, If a man have a stubborn or rebellious son, a stubborn or rebellious son, which <coughs> will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them, you know, so they punished him, they, you know, and that was a form of punishment for taking his phone. You know, like I was saying, it's probably a single mother household and all those different things. That little boy emotionally probably got a father figure. You know, so you know he spans out like that. He ain't got no no man in the house, so to speak. Because if a man was in the house, oh, there's gonna be some tussling going on, and that bitch you tearing shit up. And and he, your dad in your dad a house and he got be working every day and gotta come back and and, and fix all this shit. Oh shit. <coughs> it's gonna go down ain't no man gonna allow that. You know, unless they just some pussies. You know. But a man ain't gonna allow that. You know. So you know this single uh single parent household, you know, and they can't control the young man. You know, but these are the protocols for something of that nature. You know, maybe you give them a second chance, but if, if it happened again, you, you do this. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the gates of the into the into the gates of the elders. I mean so to the city of the it's like Bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the gates of his place, and they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is a uh, is is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard, and all the men of the city shall stone him with stones that he died. So shall thou put evil, because this is evil, when a motherfucker is stubborn and rebellious, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. <laughs> and we were stubborn and rebellious. A stubborn and rebellious nation. That's why all these curses on us, man. You know? And we ain't hearkening unto our father. You know? It says, so shall thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. Yeah, because, you know, that's that was the protocol, you know. Put, 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 make a motherfucking example on, on what we don't want amongst our nation. So once they hear about how that, that brick, you know, <laughs> hit goddamn... Look, Michael, they gonna understand, man. Shit. You gotta listen to your parents. <laughs> now, that brick gonna hit your head like that. You know, the bombardment of bricks gonna hit your head. Sit back. That bombardment of bricks gonna hit your head like that. You know? So, <clears throat> it's to put away evil from amongst our nation. And it's a righteous thing to do things of that nature. You know, maybe he'll, you, you know, give him a second chance, but your ass still will, will all the way be fucked out after doing some shit like that. You gonna, you gonna feel it after that, and you gotta, now you finna work to fix these things. You finna work 
hard and long. If you don't want to work hard and long to, you know, work this shit off, you know, you want to continue to be stubborn and rebellious, then the protocol, of course, you are, if you know, you, you can make exceptions. Because you ain't going to be stubborn and rebellious just one time and get put to death. No, there's going to be something that, now, we can't control this motherfucker. He won't listen to shit we say. We tell him to do something, he won't do it. And it's been going on for years. <laughs> now he growing up, he past 12, he 13, 14, and he still 15. He, he don't want to get up and, and go do nothing, you know. You can even say 10, 11, 12, you know. 13, 14, he, he steady, you know, in that stubborn and rebellious spirit, not wanting to grow up and, and become a man. You, you got to put that from amongst our people, man. We ain't no nation of just low lifes and bums, man. That's some shit that was created here in America, man. You know? <clears throat> but let's keep going. This Isaiah 5 and 20 say, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil and put light for darkness and darkness for light and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah, going into that law. Because if a motherfucker of this world hear something like that, oh, that's so wrong. Why would you put your son to death because he didn't listen to you? Well, listen to what the fuck you just said. You know, if, he, if, if your child ain't going to listen to you, uh, if a child ain't going to listen to his parents, then he not going to listen to nobody, you know? If a motherfucker don't listen to their own parents, they ain't going to listen. They ain't going to respect no other authority because that's where it begins. You know, that put that sets the order in, in the minds of every everybody, man. It start at home, you know? So if he don't listen to his own parents, how the hell we going to control this little nigga, man? How the hell we gonna control these people? I mean, this, this, uh, young adult. You know? We can't. It's like that. But this world will call that evil. Come on, come on, uh, traffic going. You gotta let us in the school, buddy. You know? But this world will call that evil. And which is not an evil thing, you you know. <laughs> That's a righteous judgment. But in this world, though, you can't whoop your son, but Esau can take and goddamn blow their brains out at 13, 14. <laughs> because you ain't never get your children in order, you know. You ain't never teach them a, a discipline, you know. Now, now your child put the deal. It's a lot. This um First Corinthians chapter six and verse nine it say, uh, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither on uh, us." Uh, like it. It's a lot. Let me go. Around. Let's see. Just say, know ye not that the unrighteous shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor uh, 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 abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous. Get out, fat boy. Morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Have a good day. You too. So lucky about this. They say, no, um, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, you know, so, 
um, these people not going to inherit the kingdom of, of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, the kingdom of Israel that is for to come. And the point being is that no, no effeminate, because that what he did was some shit a, 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 a rebellious woman to do, you know, <clears throat> who's not put in order. You know, that's an emotional uh, uh, thing that he did. That was very effeminate. That was very uh, an untamed woman like, <laughs> an untamed woman to do some shit like that. You know, because at the end of the day, effeminate going to the traits of a woman. You know, you can look that word up, effeminate. You know, not having a, a a source of reasoning and just acting purely out of emotions, and that's what the young dude did. He acted purely out of emotions. You know, <laughs> and tore the fucking house or apartment, whatever it is. So shit all the way up and caused thousands and thousands upon thousands <laughs> had to be in the thousands of dollars in damage, man. Cracked the TV, bust windows, broke mirrors, you know, knocked the refrigerator over, broke the countertop. The countertop alone gonna cost in the thousands to get fixed, man. You know, not only buying the stuff, but you also have to uh, 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 get somebody to to do it, take it up and put a new one back on it, you know, so, this young Jake <clears throat> caused all that damage, all because his phone got took that he ain't even paying the bill for, man, <laughs> you know, nigga, you ain't working nowhere, you ain't paying no bills, but you got the audacity, <laughs> To tear some shit up. Like you, you know, like you bought it. Like you paid for it. You know, that's an effeminate ass thing to do, man. You know, that's very emotional. That's acting out of pure uh, uh, impulse. Not thinking. Not, what what am I doing wrong to get my phone took? Not, you know. <clears throat> but that's pretty much the point. This little Jake told that bitch up. And... The protocols of, of a stubborn and rebellious child is eventually, if it don't get checked, if, you know, he don't amend his ways, you know. You know, if, after the scourges and all these things, you know, if, if 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 that don't fix it, fix the problem, then eventually he, he'll be put to death, man. You know, according to your how about him, your how about you. But that's pretty much the point, Lord, when this edified, I would end to giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakaq, that's the bonus to the apostles. And the end of the great millstone rule, we have been a great example to his young brothers and the truth, peace and blessings to the whole fleet. Shalom, come Yahshua, Allah, Baba, Shalom.